Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to play a little bit with the voltage references. Uh, you have seen me using them uh, a lot, I think. Uh, especially this one in the beginning. Uh, I will switch it off. Um, this is the, the AD584 and I had the KH version. So it's a higher uh, temperature stability and it came with this uh, yeah, with this calibration certificate, or they just cali calibrated it against their own meter. And in this case, it was an Echelant uh, 34401A. Uh, but its last calibration was in 2018. Uh, and it's done at 23 degrees uh, Celsius. So you get some nice information. This one worked really fine, and I was really happy with that. But I read that some of my viewers also wanted to buy it and then it didn't come with a certificate and I also tried to buy a new one because this one I broke it. So I replaced the IC but it is it just lost this uh, accuracy. So it's a few millivolts above which is a pity. But I can, I can do the same with the sticker. Just write down from all my meters here. Uh, I also have the sig length here. The 6.5 millimeters. So this is a perfect chance to to just make a list for it. And I found another one. This one has a blue light, but it also does switch off with the, with the switch, so without. So this is the uh, also a higher quality. And this should have been the LH version, also from the AD584. I also have a 585 coming, by the way, but uh, it is not, uh, I didn't receive it yet. Um, this one was supposed to be an LH version, which is even a higher temperature stability. But the seller sold me, uh, uh, sent me a wrong one. But I found again a seller who does do again this calibration against his meter. And I think it was also a 6.5. But uh, I, I'm not familiar with all the HP types. But this one is done on the HP 3458A on 25 degrees and I can't really see in what date it was calibrated does it say no it says that the humidity was 49 percent and it was 2020 11 so I don't know if this sticker is from 2020 11 or that this meter was calibrated that time so that is very close to something real and it is too small but I will zoom in with the picture and show you it has also this nice certificate so that's kind of cool yes and about pricing this one was around 15 up to 20 dollars and this one the new one with the certificate because yeah I think the guy needs to pay for his calibration too and he put some extra time because uh, yeah this is the only one right now that I could find with the certificate uh, was around 25 euros so maybe in dollars just below 30 but then you have one with the correct values and well let's check if it are the correct values because now here I have the big boy here and I use another calibrator right here that is the it's called the process calibrator and it is the LBO2A and I made another review about it but I'm getting more and more enthusiastic about this thing because I broke mine here um, yeah I, I started using this one a bit more because I just did the uh, a little review about it and then it kind of ended up in my stack and I don't know why but now I had to use it again and it turns out it is pretty 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 good and uh, well let me show you I'm still charging it uh, no, let's not do that so I'm taking out my charger I'm let's put it on uh, 5 volts Okay, and uh, look at this. I will do some uh, more testing later, but I just wanted to show you. This one is set to 5 volt, and it's actually is probably just as you can see 5.000. But I have meters that can show some extra zeros. And as you can see, it is not bad. This one also says 5 exactly. This one says it is a little bit high, but this meter and this meter both have not been calibrated for years. They are just here. 
and as you see the one is a bit higher but if we look at the 6.5 here this one is recently calibrated and look at this this one is not bad i'm actually really surprised it is that good so what i'm going to do and i start with this uh, new one that i just acquired should have been an l edge but it is a k edge and the difference in precision i think is the same only the temperature it is uh, better temperature stability but this room is almost the same temperature it's the attic it's always around 23 24 so it's hot um, this one is useless to compare with the sticker because i replaced the ic itself so that's no use but let's just see if it makes sense what the guy wrote down on it and it is very small so but i will write it on paper first and then we just have a look at, on the 6.5 so i wrote down the values uh, that were on the sticker and well when you do things like this you always need to have it switched on first charge it completely i did that in the morning and now it's charged on for maybe even an hour also the multimeters the desk multimeters have been switched on that long so uh, yeah now i can do these things now i have the 6.5 here so thanks uh, early shop and uh, sigland europe for uh, having me borrow this I will immediately use it. <laughs> so, well, you see, it's immediately stable. So, uh, we will write this value down. And it should have been 2.49938, and this is 28. So, it is not bad at all. 4992 so the guy doesn't uh, lie too much and now this should be 5 volts but it says here it should be 4.99897 also not too much of 9988 let's do the same on the Keatley the Kidley, as I said before, has not been calibrated for a while. And uh, what does he think? Well, he is even closer to what the guy says. It says 2.49938, and this one says 33. Usually what I do, you never want to do because you need to trust one meter because all the meters they are going to display a little bit uh, different. Um, but uh, yeah, these, these and this one are actually quite close together. So I really feel good about it. So and it only confirms that, uh, that the sticker is good on this one. So now I also will uh, write down the one that I replaced uh, the IC myself because I blew it. And um, just to replace this uh, sticker, I will do that with uh, this one. So I have the best comparison. And then we're gonna see how good this one actually is on because it can do current, uh, DC current, DC voltage, even millivolt voltages and uh, also uh, resistance so i will compare that against this one and also create my own sticker for this one well you can see after i replace the ic it is really uh, a little bit off um, but when you know exactly how much it is off you can actually use it just the same just as long as what we did with the other uh, sticker and uh, i'm just glad it works again Maybe it needs to a little bit more uh, burning time because I just received the IC last week and I uh, just uh, put it in. I also made a video about that. I'm playing with the microscope. Did work pretty well, by the way. Uh, soldering underneath the microscope. It was the DM9. It uh, did work very well. And here it's even more off. And uh, that is a pity, but 
I blew it up myself. This sticker is now useless. Let's create a new one. I will put a time lapse and compare it again against the three millimeters I have here. So now I like to play a bit with the LB02A. It is a process calibrator and uh, I will leave uh, the link also of this item in the description below. Exactly this seller at AliExpress. So the chance is a lot bigger that if you order one that you get the same uh, quality because there are so many sellers there. Uh, this one has a lot more possibilities. It can do steps of 1 millivolt and I think up to 11 volts. Um, but uh, yeah, I need to write it down in a table, so I will just do do by one fold. There also is a millifold setting. I also want to write down that, and um, and it can do milliamps. So I also want to write that down, and it can do the ohm settings. Um, for the amps, I need to do one by one. Okay, well I decided to do it one by one anyway, just to be sure. Also, maybe it drains a bit of a fraction more. And uh, I like to do it as honest as possible. I'm putting it now on the one volt setting. And you can see it is not that stable at one volt. And, and it is my color brighter because you will see the same on the other uh, meter. So uh, that is a pity. Maybe if I do a little bit longer scan time, it will average out a little bit better. But that is. It should not be. Yeah, it's really not stable. But that is the source. Just normal speed. Okay, let's write that down right here. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah, that is. That is a pity. In the lower value it uh, doesn't work. That would be like 230. That, uh, let's go to two volts. Well, if we go uh, to the higher voltages, you could see that it, it's trying to get there uh, a, a lot better. And actually at, at 7 volts, it was almost uh, spot on. Uh, let me go. I still need to find out how to switch off this beep. Uh, as you see on 7 volts, it, it is nearly there. And, uh, but we're talking uh, really, we are below the, the millivolts already. So if you have a, a three or four digit uh, meter, this device is, is perfect for that, of course, because it also had three digit hairs and <laughs> it is actually doing that. And it's even better doing that. So yeah, it's even getting there. There is also a millivolt setting. I'm trying that. Um, I don't know how high it goes. Hopefully up to 100 or a bit more. Uh, so let's see. I'm trying that. It says 1.00. So the resolution is not that high here. But uh, let's see where that uh, goes. Okay, it turns out it can go to 110 millivolts. And again, if I'm in the higher values, it uh, really starts to catch up and it's almost there because now I'm in the 100 millivolts. Dot zero zero, well, dot zero zero, we are almost there. I'm measuring the current and in the current measurements, it's actually a little bit jumpy. And uh, now it seems stable again, but it jumps a little bit and it also, I think the battery slowly is also slowly going down. And uh, so the 24 millis is, well, it is almost 24 millis, but it is really dropping, as you can see. Yeah, 
and I don't think it has to do with stabilizing. This is just because the battery is slowly uh, draining. Uh, what can we do here? Can I do here the same? Of course, amps, auto mode, milliamps. Let's see. Uh, the other way around. I need to put here. Yeah, same. Also a little bit high. Ah, but here it's, yeah, here it's also dropping. Yeah, it can even do a resistance. It can do 20 ohm up to 2200 ohms. And, uh, well, it seems kind of good. I'm looking here. So this is 20 ohms. So 20.099. Look at this. I set it to a thousand ohms. <laughs> the thousand ohms. 1k is 1k. Wow. So, uh, can we trust the stickers? Yes, I think in this case we verified that. I will leave the, the, uh, the table also for uh, download. And uh, can you trust these? Yeah, they're actually quite good. Again, the table is in the below for download and I will leave the item links also exactly to that store where I bought it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.